Hello everyone. Today I thought I'd give a quick look into how I magnetize my great unclean one. First thing, you're going to need a great unclean one. Obviously the new plastic kit. Next, you're going to need some magnets. I'm using some 1 quarter by 1 16th N52 magnets. You can find these anywhere. I bought these off eBay. Optionally, you can use a Forstner style drill bit. Compared to traditional drill bits, it leaves a nice flush cut perfect for magnets. I picked this one up off of Amazon. Lastly, you'll need some green stuff and some super glue. First I started with the right arm. You'll want to fill in the main arm cavity with some green stuff. You don't have to go all the way in, but enough to set in a magnet. For the left arm, the plastic is solid, so I just glued a magnet straight to the plastic with some super glue. On this right arm, there's a plastic lip that I kept to align the arms, but after the green stuff had dried, I removed it for a smoother connection. For the right arm weapons, fill in the cavities with some green stuff. I put a magnet on the right arm and pressed the weapon arm into it to leave it a nice indention. Once the green stuff has dried, use the drill bit to clean out the magnet hole, and then glue your magnet in with some super glue. On the staff hand, I drilled in a bit too deep so the magnet wasn't as flush as I wanted it to be. I used some Vallejo plastic putty to fill in the gaps. For the weapons on the left arm, a similar method was used, but you'll have to use a little bit more green stuff, and ignore my bad mixing of it. Once the green stuff is dried, you'll want to drill in deeper to offset for the magnets sticking off the arm. You can do the same with the crazy mouth head. You don't have to go too crazy with the green stuff though. Now that you have them fully magnetized, you'll be able to pick and choose which variation you want to run. You can run them as a great and clean one or as a rodigus. When putting on the mouth hand, the tentacles on the back kind of lock into this gap on his arm for a nice snug fit. I also kept these little nubs on the left arm, so when you line up your weapons, it'll keep a nice snug fit. You can use the same processes, but on the head if you wanted to make it swappable. I'm only going to use the one head option, but I'm just keeping it off for painting. You could easily put some green stuff inside the head gap, and use a similar process to the left arm by gluing the magnet right onto the neck with some super glue. And there you have it. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. And if you'd like to see me make more, throw me a sub. Thanks for watching.